Do you have a fear of dark, murky water? The unknown just lurking below the surface where you can't see it? You go for a swim and something touches your foot. Oh, I kind of look like I'm in water. Oh, ooh. With depths reaching 788 feet in just about 23 miles, this dark, murky water is the largest volume of fresh water in Great Britain. It has given birth to one of the most famous cryptid creatures. Obviously, I'm talking about the Loch Ness Monster, Nessie. Which I'm surprised I haven't done yet, by the way. So one of the earliest references to the Loch Ness Monster comes from a 7th century, basically fanfic, of the Irish missionary St. Columbia. That's just what it is. Like, I read it and I was like, someone was simping. Someone simped hard. Someone simped hard for St. Columbia. That's just, it's, it's history. This is my own rendition of the story. Basically it reads, St. Daddy Columbia was on his way to see Uwu King and stopped at Loch Ness along the way, where he confronted a river beast that had been killing people and he caught the beast in the act. So he called upon the Sky Daddy and kink shamed the beast into never hurting a human again. Tell me I'm wrong, go look it up. And this along with other mythologies like the Kelpie and the Water Horse kind of rolled together and then eventually the media got a hold of it and then the fire started. At one point there was a reward out for the Loch Ness Monster for anyone who could capture the beast. The Daily Mail even sent a big game hunter by the name of Marmaduke Wetherall to capture the beast. Also, what a name, Marmaduke? Put it on the baby name list, done. And then in 1934, we got that famous picture of Nessie with her head coming out of the water and everyone went crazy. But not to burst your bubble, the picture was later debunked, so sorry. Skeptics think that possible explanations could be lake sturgeon, surfacing trees, eels, reflections on the water, wakes, um, seismic activity, and the list, the list goes on and, and it gets crazy. <laughs> Basically, Basically, the creation of Nessie is a 7th century simpy Marvel fanfic of a saint. Prove me wrong. Eh. And just the possibility of something scaly and slippery with teeth lurking just below the water where you can't see it. Whew, it's horrifying, but fun. Whether you believe in Nessie or not, she's here to stay. And the search for her continues to this day. Do you believe in the Loch Ness Monster? If you don't, what do you think it could be? Maybe you have some explanations as to what it might be. Let me know in the comments below and thanks so much for watching. Have a good night.